All right. Uh, well, I have some sad news. I mean, for me at least, uh, I uh, have corrupted my hard drive or part of it. So I have tons of video that I had uh, started because I'm not really proficient at making YouTube videos, but um, but I had filmed a lot of stuff and builds and uh, mail bags and stuff like that and. So far it's lost, so I'm hoping to recoup some of it, uh, somebody's working on it, but uh, I decided to just uh, fiddle much less with the editing and uh, go for the, um, just post uh, as, you know, as soon as I make them, you know, edit them, edit them, but post as soon as I make them, so, well here we go. Um, I had received last week this, uh, these um, banana uh, what do you call them? Sockets. Okay, blacks and uh, you see them. Oops. And what's what's really cool with them is that you can either you can mount them totally insulated. See how this plastic piece is this rim? Um, it can be completely insulated if you have a metal box. Or you can just remove these things and uh, connect it to the metal box if the box is ground or something like that. Uh, they're cheap plastic, you can tell from the feel, but uh, they're really expensive and they'll serve me well and replace a lot of uh, uh, crocodile or alley, well, I think you say alligator clips uh, in my project. So I got a bunch of these. I also got wood well it's actually the seat of a chair let me show you this is a typical uh, the seat of a typical uh, IKEA chair uh, and you know it's a little bit uh, it's a trapeze okay the top here is wider than the bottom so it's the front this is the front okay and these of the frame that goes underneath the chair and then from there there's the legs extending down so I found this and uh, I decided to to take it well first because that piece really is nice um, it's a nice piece of wood and I can do stuff with it but also these I just realized uh, I don't know what this mailbag is today but it might be a fan I don't think so because I think I've got everything that I need but essentially underneath my fans my fan bedinis I want to mount the fan frame on top of two pieces of wood like that you know and cut it to length and on one side may make a flanged uh, panel if you want of some sort and this will allow I think the nice thing with this is that uh, I can then spin the fan uh, in the direction that it sucks air from underneath and blows it up, blows it up. And <clears throat> I, I think I like that better than having the fan blow in my face or blow away from it because it, it, it tends to. So as long as it's experimental, you know, it's always on a on a desk or a workbench, and it really sucks to to have it. Um, yeah, to have it blow, you know, papers around or in your face. So I think if it's mounted, you know, a couple an inch or a couple inches off the surface, it can suck air. Uh, it can cool the uh, the circuitry if it needs to. It usually doesn't. And everything's compact and tied together. And there's no wires, uh, loose wiring. Be well, there's wires going from the circuit to the fan, but. It's everything is it's contained, you know, okay? You don't have to pick up two pieces to bring it to a battery to charge it. So that's what I like. Anyway, let's open this guy up. And I don't have my tripod, so I'm using my teacup. Let's see what this is. Okay, it says, wow, it says PCB. Oh, very cool. That's interesting because it came from the UK. Okay, well, no, it came from Singapore. Wow, 
I know, I think I know what it is. Here's the thing, the PCBs, I have somebody in Germany that I know who works, I mean, he works for a company, he's part owner, uh, who, who they manufacture electronic stuff. And they have PCB orders on a regular basis. So I've asked him where he's going. He said he's going to the Czech Republic. I just finished the story. So I said, well, you know, how much does it cost? And he should give me some online uh, online places. And they're really getting cheap. But the, the challenge was, you know, having small quantities of, uh, of, of PCBs made. And especially small. So the nice thing is that I can give him the Gerber files. Uh, for the PCBs, and he puts them on on the PCB uh, on the on the big PCB uh, what do you call it boards that they manufacture and use the remnant space. And I pay him, you know, some money for that, but it's really inexpensive uh, compared to anything else. And so the wait time is a little bit long because I have to wait, you know, sometimes a couple of weeks, three weeks. Well, first I have to design it. I have to f somebody to design it, and then I have somebody. Um, I need to wait for him to be able to accept um, the stuff and put it on his remnant space. And I paid him a little bit of money, so it, it brings that cost down, and I get a really cheap PCB. So this I'm really proud of because it's my first ever PCB design, and it's um, it's a it's a dual Bedini circuit. I'll show you. So there's four boards here. Okay. And they gave me a lot because I don't think I ordered that many, but depending on how they depending on how they, they do um, Well, the thing is, I'm not seeing the the input. Oh, yeah, here it is. Coco MOSFET. Oh, cool. All right. So, how the heck does it work? No, actually, it's only single. Uh, is it? Hope this breaks apart easily. Yeah. Okay. So here's here's how this is gonna work. Um, okay. Here. So these are four inputs. Uh, the um, input and output. And here's the transistor that you're gonna that you want to use. You put it here. And let me point with something more civilized. All right, so um, input, output, so it is input, mi input minus, output, my uh, input minus, input plus, which is connected to the output minus, okay, according to the Bedini circuit, and this is the output plus, which comes from the diode, which comes from the collector of the transistor. The collector also goes to the power coil uh, screw terminal, okay, and then this one, okay, and then the other uh, power coil goes to the input plus, which is also in output minus, okay, so this one goes here, and you can follow that, you know, with the schematic. Here is the trigger uh, screw on terminal and so the the minus goes to the um, uh, one of the sides of the of the trigger coil and the other one will go to this part okay this is the part and um, then there's a resistor somewhere probably this guy and then it goes to the emitter of the transistor if you look at it in the back somehow okay uh, this is the uh, neon bulb uh, the, this is the emitter base diode this is the collector diode it's really simple but I want to have a PCB because I'm 
I've been mounting so many, uh, building so many that it's, uh, you know, I don't like having, you know, the little bug circuitry uh, uh, going around and just uh, messing things up, you know, getting short and uh, having uh, stuff un unhook, etc. So I'm going to live trying to break this. I'm, I'm a little bit afraid. Hope, because I asked them to. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, one side. Okay. All right, that's a pretty. Okay, it does break. That's cool. I don't have to saw it. I was afraid I was gonna have to to saw this apart. It should have blown. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. So I got plenty of these. Um, that looks really cool. All right. Well, uh, there you have it. Um, I've got uh, I've got plenty of these now. So they're on. Uh, let's see. They're on five by ten boards. They're on boards of. You know, this is this is uh, ten centimeters. Yeah. So the height, you know, one side is ten centimeters, and uh, the boards are half. So this is one board. But uh, I had designed um, one circuitry, and then I had duplicated it and uh, put it on a five. Well, actually, they did it because I had done it on a bigger board. But anyway, so they have put together my boards, and it ends up being on a 5x10 board. So there's four circuits on the 5x10 board, and you can break them apart, or you can leave them. But um, actually, you can't leave them in solder because the uh, the transistor and the, um, the screw-on terminals will butt against each other. Uh, but anyway, uh, I think that's pretty cool. Well, this is Asian uh, stuff, and it comes from Singapore, so they must have changed manufacturers. Go figure. Okay, and the little dry thing <laughs> got loose, uh, broke off. Okay, uh, I don't know what to tell you. Um, yeah, um, if you want to, I don't know, um, I don't need that many, so if you guys want some of these, if you want to buy some of these, you can. Uh, I don't have to price them, I'll just put a link somewhere where you can order uh, these. But uh, for now, I'm going to stop here and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.